New at 10, starting this week, barriers are set to go up on one San Francisco street to try to crack down on prostitution. This is happening along Cap Street between 18th and 22nd Streets in the city's Mission District. KTVU's Alyssa Harrington is there and spoke with neighbors about the plan. Alyssa. Well, neighbors tell me once it gets dark, this street is no longer theirs. They say they witness all sorts of illegal activity and aren't sure the barriers address the root of the problem. One girl over there. A huge line of traffic. Even Neighbors along San Francisco's Cap Street shared pictures and videos of what they see out their windows on almost a nightly basis. What they believe are sex workers and their pimps, while a line full of Johns in their vehicles clogged the street. There's rampant prostitution on Cap Street. Residents we talked to did not want their faces on camera. They told us the situation has become dangerous. Violence of the pimps that they not only intimidate the women and men handle them aggressively, they also sometimes intimidate the neighbors. Noise it brings at night. I mean, I wake up multiple times a week at night. My kids have missed school. I've missed work. Um, it's And it's the Johns driving by in their car, racing back and forth, turning their music on, having sideshows with their cars. The city announced it is taking steps to curb this sort of activity. Starting this week, barriers will go up along Cap Street between 22nd and 18th Streets. They're about two feet tall. Uh, they're big orange uh, plastic um, barricades that you fill with water. Santiago Lerma, legislative aide to Supervisor Hillary Ronan, said they visited Cap Street on a Friday night to see the problem for themselves and realized urgent action needed to be taken. What you see is um, a large amount of traffic on Cap Street, um, bumper to bumper almost. Um, John's cruising up and down um, looking for sex workers. So what the uh, intent behind the uh, barricades is to uh, disrupt the, uh, the kind of cruising. We don't want to talk about people as disposable. We don't want to talk about people like their cockroaches that we're trying to exterminate from the neighborhood. Celestina Pearl is an outreach manager with St. James Infirmary, a community clinic that provides support for sex workers in the city. So I'm very concerned about um, the young women who work on this street who get so very little voice and so very little power and control over their own lives. And I know it's not a very popular opinion, especially in this neighborhood. Neighbors told us they do realize many of the workers are being trafficked and are victims, but they want enforcement and accountability so they can simply walk outside their homes at night and raise their kids in a safe community. Most of us, if not all of us, don't really have a problem with the sex workers or even their business itself. It's really the fact that this is a residential neighborhood. District Attorney Brooke Jenkins sent me a statement saying the DA's office is working to address prostitution and human trafficking concerns. She said 14 Johns have received citations and the office is prepared to prosecute any pimps or human traffickers. Reporting live in San Francisco, I'm Alyssa Harrington, KTVU, Fox 2 News. So Alyssa, if they just block or put up barriers along Cap Street, do they worry? Are they concerned that the problem will just move over to other streets? That is a concern, but neighbors say that they would prefer that. Uh, residents will be able to get through. All right, Alyssa Harrington reporting live for us tonight in San Francisco. Thank you.